Hey everyone, it's Squeaks Coco here. Uh, for my first show today, we're going to play Don't Starve, Reign of Giants. As you can see, I've already started a game, but we're going to start a brand new one. And we'll play Wilson and not change the world around. Generate the world here. And we begin! So for you, for those of you who don't know, Don't Starve is a fun survival game where you just try to live as long as possible in this, uh, what's his name? Guy who made Nightmare Before Christmas. Anyways, it looks like his sort of art. Getting some twigs. Twigs are good for a lot of things like torches and uh, backpacks and traps and so they're pretty useful. Um, so the first few days I'm going to be looking around, see if we can find a pretty defendable area. Because you do get attacked in this game quite a bit. Found a flower. Lots and lots and lots of bushes. Berry bushes are cool because they have food. I don't know if they grow in the winter. So every time one of those things ding, that's me being able to make a new item, be it a trap or a bird trap, bug's net, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, for lighting, there's campfires, a torch, and an endothermic fire. I've never made one of those. And let's see what else do we need. We need to find some rocks. So that we can make various tools to help us survive. Over here to the right is how far you are in the day, and how much hunger you have, your health, and your sanity. And that's the basics of the game. Ah, roads. Roads are cool, because they make you travel faster. Looking for rocks all over the ground. Oh, bunny. Oh, beefalo. This is pretty cool. Um, beefaloes are those giant buffalo thingies you just saw. And they leave a lot of manure, which is useful for growing plants, having a farm, helping you to survive longer. More bunnies. Those are food sources. Um, I think you can get food from beefalo, but they're pretty hard to kill, because if you attack one, the whole herd attacks. Still looking for rocks. Uh, so this is a circle of evil flower thingies. I know that they remove your sanity, but I don't know what else they do. And here is a ring thing. Earlier, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my sanity started to drop. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's just because I wasn't productive, which causes Wilson's sanity to drop, or if it's because I was around those evil flower things. What was that? Ah, puffy vest. Those are good for winter time. They help keep you warm. Oh, 
We are running out of light. Woo, rocks. Found them. So, nighttime is pretty scary. Um, if you don't have a fire, lots of stuff can attack you, even if you do have a fire. Oops. And your sanity goes down. You start to see things. Oh, pig's house. Pigs are pretty cool. As long as it's not the full moon. You can use them to protect yourself. Some of the monsters, like I said earlier, happen to attack you. Usually at nighttime. Sometimes if you get anywhere near them. Touchstones are cool. Um, that's what this thing is. It will bring you back here if you die. So each time you activate a touchstone, you come back near the closest one. Then you have to make it to where you died to get all your stuff back in it. It can be kind of scary. Okay. For now, we're going to stop here and make... Uh, one night campfire. Oh, we need logs. Shoot. There we go. And this campfire will help provide the light that keeps the bad things away. As you can see, it gets dark pretty fast. There's some fireflies. Get our stuff. And come back to the campfire. Um, what did we find? We found some birch nuts, which are good for replanting those trees I just cut down. Carrots, seeds, berries, flowers, manure. A crank thing. Tough enough to handle the most interesting experiments. And a ring thing. A ring that could focus dimensional energies. Huh, interesting. Let's cook some berries. Uh, cooked food fills your hunger more than non-cooked food does. So I always suggest to just cook your food. And then we can eat the berries. And as my stomach gets fuller, I don't need to eat as much. So that's pretty cool. Still got three logs. We aren't doing too bad for day one. And it's just about daytime. Wonder what that sound was. Oh, it's the pig's lights going off. Then all the piggies came out. They don't like you until you give them food. And then when you give them food, they follow you around. Which can be dangerous during a full moon. Because they turn into horrible, terrifying pigs That attack you and try to eat you. So even your friends and comrades aren't really friends and comrades. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it's a new thing in the Reign of Giants. But it's a little cat raccoon thingy. It doesn't attack you unless you attack it. Kind of like the bunnies. I don't think they attack you at all. Not seeing anything super cool or easily defendable. Ooh, more pigs. If we make it far enough, we'll get to create a camp and put up walls and get a refrigerator. Helps our food to last longer. Let's see. Still not seeing much mushrooms. Oh, here's a carrot. No, 
not much. The water's pretty interesting. Um, during the rainy seasons, this water fills and starts to flood over. So if you're making a camp near the water, you don't want to be too close to the edge. Because then it'll wash all your stuff away. So I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Oh, he's asleep. How cute. No seeds. Seeds are useful because that's what you use to make the crops once you have farms. I have yet to experience it, but I've heard there's like this karma system throughout the game where if you chop down plants and stuff, um, or trees I guess, you get bad karma, and if you plant trees you get good karma. Karma, And depending on the type of how much karma you have, the um, defender of the forest will come and attack you. It might not, if you've got a lot of good karma. But if you have bad karma, it might. Oh, a cactus, that's new. Oh. Shouldn't touch new things. I'm a little nervous, because if there's bones around, there's wolves around. Yep, there they are. And wolves are scary. But, if you bring them back to the pigs, then the pigs will attack them, kill them, and then you can get their meat and stuff. And that's all used to create new items. That one got away. Oh, there we go. Go, piggy, go! Woo! Kill it, kill it! Yay, good job, piggy. And now we have monster meat. Oh, uh oh. My inventory is full. Let's see if I can make a backpack here. Doesn't look like it. We will just leave that for another day. This area is pretty cool. I think we will set up camp here. Surrounded by pigs. We'll have a second camp for when the full moon hits. Oh, this is new. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Neither am I. What's all this? There's pan types, flowers, chopped up trees. Huh. Let's put some more light out. Build us a campfire. And oh, I'm pretty hungry. So let's cook up some carrots. Had fruit yesterday, gotta have vegetables today. And I don't know if anyone else noticed, but as I ate, my health got higher. So that's pretty cool. Pretty sure it dropped when I touched the cactus. That was silly. There we go. Now we have cooked cactus flesh. Cook up some berries. Another thing I've noticed is that if you... If your food is going bad and you cook it, you get a couple extra days out of it. So that's pretty cool. Good way to 
keep yourself alive longer. And now it's nighttime. Let's keep our fire going. And hope we make it through the night. In the morning, we will start some serious gathering and get a campsite started. Running in circles, doo -doo. waiting for the night to pass. I don't know if running around lowers your hunger or if it just lowers over time. Probably shouldn't run though. Uh, let's see, what do we need for a campsite? Science machine, those are pretty useful. Um, like it says, it unlocks new crafting recipes. Alchemy engine is like the cooler science machine. Unlocks even more crafting recipes. We can make clothes. Weapons and stuff. Let's see what else. Oh, it's almost day time. Come on, campfire, you could do it. Have some grass. And we made it. Woo! 